just pour this center gun, and then we'll jump right back into the mix of it. Definitely getting closer and closer. So we do have a whiz lab on this floor, and I don't know how I feel about that. It's definitely not use my very final scroll of magic mapping. Critical, but usually I like to at least take a peek, see how things are, are looking in that regard. Oh, lack of cold resistance is gonna get me killed at some point here. I guess the other thing I could have done at that point is fire resistance check. Never mind, that's also bad. Yikes. Scarf of resistance, please. DSS, I, I beg you. Um, let me phantom mirror you. Box of Beasts is unfortunately a nerd, but... Eh, maybe that's fine. So anyway, just start blasting. Perfect. Oh, I do love being archers. At this stage in a ranged character run, it almost always ends up getting to this, where at least your damage output is wild enough that it doesn't really matter quite as much that you lack resistances. Or usually we'd lack defenses to a way greater degree and extent than we do here today. Again, very lucky that Jivya has seen it in their infinite wisdom to give us a pretty wild amount of defensive capability, which is awesome. Unfortunately, on the flip side here, I'm not in a great position. I potentially just want to go with a very early teleportation. Let's reset that. Try to find ourselves in a slightly more tenable position. Okay, magical portal to another realm. Cool, cool, cool. Um, boom, boom, boom. let's drop some of this business. I don't think I need flight. I'm trying to think in my very limited knowledge of Wiz Labs, is there any that would require? Ah, uh, there might be. So just in case, let's leave both sons guns there. And Maxwell's Workshop. It's definitely not one I'm familiar with. DCSS, Wiz Lab. Please and thank you. Crawl Wiki, beautiful. Let's just do a quick checkup on this. On our second monitor here. And take a look. Filled with constructs and big workers, from fire giants and frost giants to angels. Most of the non-constructs here were wield branded great maces. Many of the random artifacts have dangerous properties like rampaging ponderousness and rings of fire and ice. Hmm. Probably not too terrible for us to go through, but still slightly terrifying. Can be electric golems. Um de dum. I guess I don't stand to gain a lot from this. It could have Maxwell's armor or thermic engine, neither of which I really care about at this point on the run. R Rings of fire and ice. So a ring of fire and then putting on ice dragon scale mail. Kind of almost works. I always hate doing that because when you're Fighting against that many negative resistances, it's just never uh, a great calculus to put yourself into. Oh, me oh my. Actually, should just leave. We're gonna take a look. What you got, Maxwell? How we looking, how we feeling, my friend? Um, okay, that's fine. It's not too bad of a whiz lab, so you usually do it. Just in regards to it's relatively straightforward or not as difficult. I guess there could always be more treasure. There's a scarf. Oh my gosh. Scarf of resistance. Please, I beg you. I beg you, DCSS. No, you son of a gun. Uh, there's a ring of fire. How about that? Um, Dex minus three is not great, but we'll, we'll wait it out. We'll see what else potentially comes on offer here as we continue forward. 
they're all harm. Oh, that makes sense. I guess it did say that it was all gonna be like, quote unquote, dangerous egos. So that's all your ponderousness, harm, ice fire, everything that gives you a vulnerability as well as the uh, advantages, right? Seems to be the name of the game at least. Let's back up just a smidge here. Make everyone funnel through our little doorway at the very least. Otherwise, nothing too terrible coming through. Lightning Spire. Hello, my friend. Goodbye. Okay. Honestly, just for a single haste potion, this might have been worth it. Because we are very much in desperate need of any kind of resources and specifically haste potions have been on a bit of a, uh, a shortage on this run at least so far uh, some heal wounds fantastic don't mind if i do and let's just finish off exploring this back area before we send ourselves into any of the, the future bits and bobs here hello my warrior friend not too shabby here. I mean, I should probably double check to make sure it is the case, but it has seemed so far like my auto attack with tab does account for whether enemies are uh, in front of slimes, and it seems to always shoot it into the floor whenever that is the case, which is very, very lucky because we otherwise very quickly or easily could have found ourselves going into penance under Jivia, so thank you, game. Um, and do I want any of this garbage? Probably not. Still not in a great position resistance-wise. That, unfortunately, has not changed. Which I guess was to be expected based on what we write up on the Maxwell laboratory layout and expectations, but still a bit of a shame here. Do. Apologies, slime. Almost fired off in your direction. Again, the game saving us from our own problems in life, so that is fantastic. And let us finish off the last little bit of, of Depths 2 here. Also, fix up my seat. The uh, the raise and lower feature on my, uh, my seat is just slightly broken. I haven't quite figured out the trick because sometimes I'll sit here for hours and hours on end, nothing. Other times I sit down and it immediately just So no clue what the, the factors, relevant factors are going into it. But every once in a while I just have to either remember or I look around and I realize my table's at chest height. And I'm like, something feels weird here. Tab will warn when trying to shoot friends. Yeah, directly. Uh, but I think even when their friend is behind the enemy, it's doing the equivalent of if you do like F period, where it fires into the floor and you don't go any further. At least that's what it's looked like. But again, I haven't really been paying close enough attention to fully confirm it, whether or not that's the case. Oh, the gold dragon scales got eaten. That tracks. Right. <laughs> Shoot. So I guess we don't get to experiment if that potentially has some use case for us. Um, and instead we're just going to hope that the cold resistance issue does not come to a, uh, a head at any point in the near future. Or the future at all would be nice if you could be so kind, DCSS. Um, Berserk Stone Giant. I am going to try and teleport out of there as soon as possible. Beautiful. And I'm not sure, did we take out the, the moth? Typical monstrosity. No, still almost dead, unfortunately. So that son of a gun is still kicking somewhere out there. Do, do, do. I guess, ooh. We could abuse lava lakes, potentially. At least against berserk enemies that can't fly. Which is, you know, great for the most part, at least if we have another, like, Berserk Stone Giant situation. Unfortunately, it doesn't do too much for what I'm most scared of, which is always going to be Berserk Dragons. Basically, any day of the week, that is terrifying, and usually we don't have to worry about that too much until Zod. Zod is generally where it comes to a, 
an overbearing amount of opportunity for just such an occasion to happen, but never know. So at least something to keep an eye out for, keep in mind. Oh, you're freaking crystal tome. Get out of here. Perfect. And not the end of the world. Holy moly. Just barely keeping our ourselves together here. I will constrict on this son of a gun. And I will potentially also teleport out of here again. I mean, a decent amount of the floor is explored. So I was fairly hopeful that we'd wind up somewhere relatively safe, at least, at the end of the day. Okay, let's switch. Definitely need to take care of our cold friend, first and foremost, and then trolls, yada yada. All fine and dandy, nothing too problematic there. One thing I should be doing is probably using Jivia a bit more often. I mean, at the end of the day, the regeneration, incredible stuff, and is one of the better features of the god. But Uzumancy is definitely something I could be exploring and using a wee bit more often than I have. Let's step up onto... Oh, dang it. I was trying to prevent them from eating my armor, but that's fine, I guess. Still, we'll have the, the slight risk of that happening. Do, do, do Metal Splinters 3D30. Oof, oof, oof. Um, okay. I would like to probably change out some of my my gear here. Oh jeez. So I accidentally scroll over the wrong part of my start bar or start menu and get all sorts of news pop-ups. Um hmm. I guess paralysis wand is probably pretty useless at this point. Don't really want to be fiddling too much with stuff in this context though. Because I think this very quickly could degrade into, again, an untenable situation. So with that in mind, let's phone a friend. Bring in our lovely box of beasts here. Thank you. And perfect. That does give us just enough time to pick up ice dragon scales. Let's head to a stairwell. And let's do just a wee bit of experimentation, shall we? So I put those sons of guns on, or that son of a gun. Just barely slows down my attack. We go from 0.7 to 0.8. That's not a huge deal. And then the other thing will be losing the protection in exchange for this. And that leaves us with at least one point of resistance in both categories. The caveat is if I lose this mutation for heat resistance, then I'm screwed again. But hopefully we can kind of try and keep an eye out for that and it won't take us by surprise no longer feel resistant to heat <laughs> you son of a god um hmm. i regenerate more so what are we at now in that regard 5.41 health per turn okay okay i'm hipping with it that's very cool most are robust again which i love to see uh, not fire resistant, but we're at least cold resistant. It's tough because that that's just a coin flip. And what do you know? We immediately are dealing with a fiery friend. Hooray. I guess the one advantage we have on the fire side of things is that we are using a cold branded weapon. So that's nice. I should probably just kill you. And hopefully that's good enough. Fantastic. Um, ooh. Austic Shrikes. You're fully resistant to corrosion, if I had to guess. You're not. What the heck are you doing with your life, friend? Most of you kiddos are strong against what you put out at the very least. So you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen, but that's fine. Gotta watch some of the Trinsky stream live. Wow. Hey, Rifo, how's it going? Hope things are are going well over your way. Ooh. Okay. Let's get back in here. And there we go. Now Uzumansi can shine. Beautiful. Finally actually using some of our, our God-granted abilities for the, the good of all. Fantastic. Ooh, that's a lot of drain. 
and even more drain as I just continue to tab in the face of all. Oh, what was that? Oh, that was Parget. Okay. I think... I mean, A, I'm going to Phantom Mirror you. And then by our powers combined... Nope. Never mind, you are a nasty son of a gun. You know that? Has anyone ever told you that, Parget? Well, at least the fire giant has taken care of quickly, and then we're surrounded by trolls. So I'm going to jump yet again here and just keep hopping between locales. Eventually, this is probably going to blow up in our face, but not yet, at least. So that's nice. Um, hmm. Maybe I'm... Am I okay against a juggernaut? I feel like this is definitely the time where our bow is starting to fall off, and I'm very much more seriously considering swapping over. Our lists have that, that punchy damage rating. I do like the attack on the rest, though. 35 damage on the longbow. So the longbow unenchanted is caught up. Interesting. And that is considering... Ooh... The dex plus seven, though, I don't know if that's being factored in. That only is with us when we're using the short bow. So that potentially would uh, change things up. Okay, let's see how this goes. Very likely to try and teleport out again here. So it looks like we can almost heal back enough of the Juggernaut's damage that kind of works out just because of how slow they are at attacking so that's fantastic and of course just everything we're facing now is fire themed perfect again thank you Jivia. oh there we go okay we are getting a little bit of cold in there a big part of that is probably just my mental bias you know of course the thing that we are struggling with or weak against is going to stand out a lot more but no matter how we, we slice and dice it here, it's still a bit on the the rough side. And fortunately, our fiery friend immediately started walking through our acidic ground, so that's perfect. And just get right back on the road here. Thank you for the displacement, my uh, dragon-esque friend. Can I survive? Oof. Uh, plus 11 short bow is doing a surprise amount of damage to be honest it definitely is largely due to yeah i think the dex plus seven has very much kept it in the game longer than it had any right to be um but of course now we're definitely finding ourselves in a bit of nastiness and unfortunately fire breath is gonna hurt mix over bolt is gonna hurt even if we blink, we could immediately get surrounded. I guess fear might be the play here, but let's double check that uh, use case here. 79% um, on the fire, 90% on you, 47. That's all right. As long as we get the fire dragon, I'm actually pretty, pretty happy. Oh, shoot. <laughs> and then I fear again. Oh, son of a gun. Oh, I'm so bad at managing my quiver. But hey, that's fine. These things happen. To me more often than they should, but let's just ignore that for now. Ooh, and our teleport did not take us far, but it might have gone us on the right side of history at least. Good enough for me. <laughs> As we're just bouncing around because of our purple draconian friend there, but fortunately it all kind of works out. We do have an Arbalist safe it, but unfortunately, it's not like a heck of a lot better. Our list of flaming. Don't love it. Could try to rebrand. Or I guess if I'm gonna brand, it might as well be a new one, just so we have the fires back up. In fact, maybe I do want to switch to Arbalist. The main issue there, I guess, is still the attack delay, or is now the attack delay, I should say. What am I training these days? Oh, I never set a cap for Evo. Oh, geez. I guess my evocations are off the charts now. Amazing stuff. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, man. I am bad at B. 
video games. Didn't even notice what was going on, but let's train a bit more armor. And we can see how that goes. I was wondering why we hadn't had to rearrange our skills at any point recently. Everything makes a lot more sense now. That definitely tracks. I'm going to pick up this baby Arbalist just in case. You know what? There we go. Target, let's, let's dance again, you and I. This time, with the help of my friend, nope, that's not going that much better, honestly. Oh my gosh. Wait, you fully heal? I know that your regen is kind of your whole deal, and I respect that, I understand that, but really? Um, hmm. Well, I guess we're a wand user now, with the skill we've shown it using our, our quiver, we're gonna fail. Um, okay, let's let's try this strat. We'll mirror ya, we'll root ya. Okay, yeah, that definitely... I mean, last time I guess it was a more of a coin flip, so the real party killed mirrored party. And that's why it didn't seem to work out quite as well. And I wish I could wear these dragon scales. Oh, who am I? Well, unfortunately, kind of dealing with all of our issues right now so we'll have to stick I think with our current armor set at least for the time being and yeah we can see how many just how many attacks it's taking to deal with the sons of guns it's definitely starting to feel the wear and tear of our, our short bow and just how uh, unaffected it will be as we continue to trend later into the game um, let us we fell into a shaft, didn't we? We did, I totally forgot. How about that? Well, we can definitely come back up here and there's still some small semblance of hope that we uh, we have a future here, maybe? More short bows is not gonna cut it. That much I can say with a decent amount of certainty. But Lich, no real issue dealing with you, my friend. Do. Did we ever let our jello friends eat all the loot and elf? We did not. So yeah, if we're feeling desperate for any loot or other goods, and in fact, I guess now we've explored down to Zot, so I am kind of in the boat that I'm describing. So I think we will head to elf. And hopefully we get some of the, uh, the resistances that we're oh so lacking in definitely been a, a wee bit of a struggle i mean not having fire resistance is going to be a slight pain in fact oh, hold resistance versus fire resistance probably rather a fire resistance in elf hey would come with cold vulnerability though because all i have are rings of fire <laughs> rings of ice oh son of a gun If you want to do me a solid here, throw some fire resistance my way. Could be fun, could be cool. Um, I guess fire elementals die, they'll just fold because of our cold damage, so that's quite literally something. And I feel like the, the bigger struggle that we usually have when we're trying to decide about going into elf is the lack of electricity resistance, which this time is not a factor, fortunately, so that's fine. Even a will now, I do, that is correct, yeah. No, really nice will, because we have triple willpower from our Divya mutations. Ooh, and a weapon shop. Don't mind if I do, please and thank you, something good. Eh, not so much. Star of Honor, Speed, Resistances, yes. But I kind of like, oh, I just love being an archer at this stage in our run don't really want to change that all up it would be wild because we'd change over to this morning star of speed and we could use the buckler of resistance get the double whammy maybe did I, wait did, did i lose my buckler of resistance why did i i decided we'd never use it and i dropped it never mind ignore me son of a gun 
and this is why I have inventory hoarding issues. So you can't drop anything. Even more so, of course, as a Jivia follower. So, you know, fair enough that it's a slightly different metric. And maybe not the most fair representation, but... Still a factor. I don't really just... I don't really want to fight these demons, so I think we're gonna... Just zip de doo da day our way out of there, and then let's ooze and against these sons of guns. And should be no issues whatsoever. Even if I can find like a nice enchanted longbow here, that would be nice. Only if that was a longbow, no kidding. Oh, okay. Um, no, I'm not seeing any more resistances. In fact, if anything, we only lost resistances. Yikes, 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 yikes. But not the end of the world yet. I will not completely give up hope until the last possible moment, or at least that's the, the thing I'll keep telling myself for some infusion of optimism, as it were. And there we go. Much more manageable situation to deal with all these sons of guns, as long as our demonologist remains vulnerable, which they do just long enough for us to get the job done. Um, leather armor, a fire resistance. AC would decrease by 7. But, kind of does something for me. Uh, do you want Ring of Flight? Now I feel confident. No, never mind. Potions of Berserk Rage. That's the better garbage to toss away. Go ahead and eat up slimes. Don't mind in the slightest. And we'll just keep on going for the moment here. Let's see if we can't find anything else to put our grubby little paws on. Um, doesn't look to be anything beyond those chaos clouds, unfortunately not. So downwards we go, and onwards and downwards. Holy moly. Oh hey Louise, should have double checked, I was pretty sure you had zero percent chance of banishment, that's awesome. Plate mail of fire resistance, probably not gonna cut it for us here today. Um, interesting. What scrolls have I not ID'd? Fog and silence. Okay, fair enough. So it's one of the two. Um, what else would I potentially drop? I mean, potions of attraction, I'm kind of holding on to just for the sake of it. I'm not really gaining much from that. Um, I guess Ring of Protection maybe can go for now and we'll pick up the scroll. Why the heck not? Not a lot of active decision making going into that. Oh, and here's the the reflective one, the other one that we were missing, so that's fantastic. Uh, don't screw it. Potions of Attraction. Probably is many a use case for why even a ranged character like this could take advantage of attraction. But I just know that in my personal experiences, I think I've had one successful use, and I've had many, many uh, near and fully death experiences due to irresponsible use of attraction potions. I should be able to drop the artifact staff. True. Not probably not going to use staff the meek at any point in the future. It's just so cool, you know. I'm a sucker for the unrandarts. Anything that is unrandart, I will hold on to way longer than necessary just because it's nifty. Uh, but let's see, we now have four scrolls of enchant weapon. Still haven't come to a decision whether I want to use Arbalist or Longbow. I guess maybe we do just stick with Longbow. really tell ya. What's that in the early game? Yeah, and we actually, we did get it early enough that we probably could have used it. Um, but unfortunately I was pretty dead set on my my ranged approach to this run. You know, for better or for worse. Can all blades drop ranged weapons? I think it can, but very rarely. I feel like I've seen ranged dancing weapons before. But it's such a, like, hazy recollection that I have to imagine is either very rare or my brain made it up. And those are kind of the only two possibilities. 
Uh, I mean, there's always the third that I'm just a moron, which is generally the more likely one, if we're being honest, but that's fine. Is that leather of cold resist any good? What leather or cold resist? <laughs> I'm guessing <laughs> another victim to the slime. Oh no. Oh. Leather, please. Damn. <laughs> oh, geez, Louise. Mostly dancing wet ranged weapons in Takima's studio was lab. Oh, that might be where I saw it. That's a good point. Only the most advanced weaponry over that way. Um, hey, Nikolai. I have silence. I guess I also have file floods, which generally works pretty well against you, my friends. So let's just plop that down, and I should have enough damage output to be otherwise okay. Beautiful. 